Hey everybody, my name is Joe Nance, I'm from Binance X, and today I want to show you a little bit about how you're going to break into programming on the new Binance Smart Chain. Now this is aimed at anybody who has uh, a little bit of experience coding, knows what blockchain is, what a wallet is, and uh, no prior experience with Ethereum or anything is assumed, but uh, those of you who are coming from Ethereum might find this very familiar because all the traditional tools work just fine with the Binance Smart Chain. So the first thing I'm going to assume that you have is the MetaMask Chrome extension installed. And what you're going to do is uh, configure that to be compatible with the Binance Smart Chain. So we're going to be on the test net right now. And what you're going to have to do is go into your settings. and add uh, a test network. So I've already added one, but you would be clicking this, add network. And you're gonna click add smart chain. Okay, so now you should be filling in the custom RPC with these fields. Name it whatever you'd like, Binance Smart Chain, the test net. Uh, you're gonna point the RPC URL to this. Again, that's uh, starts with this data seed pre BSC and then some of these parameters. Laura will have these in her presentation. The chain ID will be 97 and the symbol for our currency on this chain is going to be BNB. And we have a blockchain explorer so that we can uh, see what transactions have transpired with these contracts or with this address. So go ahead and fill in this. Once that's done, go ahead and uh, add it and save it and make it active inside of your MetaMask extension. First things first, we have to have some currency to interact with our smart contracts in between addresses on this chain. So point your browser over to the faucet. We have a faucet for this testnet. Again, this uh, URL will be available in the main presentation. We're going to copy our Binance address paste it right in here and click how many BNB we want. Let's not get greedy. The block time is super fast on Binance Smart Chain, so it should already be funded. We check. And indeed, there it is. All right. So once we have some BNB to interact with the blockchain, we're going to go over to my favorite editor, uh, Remix. In fact, it's at remix.ethereum.org. And don't worry, it's not uh, restricted to just Ethereum because, again, we can put in custom RPCs. So I made this very simple one function contract, one variable. That's We're able to set a message inside of the smart contract. Use it as kind of a storage. Okay, so I encourage you to explore Solidity. That's the language that this is written in. It's a, a standard for smart contracts written on these EVM-compatible machines. And uh, what we're going to do is select the compiler version. For us, it's 0 0.5.0 you know, with the, the most recent of those. And make sure the uh, optimization is enabled. You know, diehard Ethereum evangelists might claim that Truffle or uh, some other tool is more preferable to compiling and deploying smart contracts. But I have always stuck to Remix because it's got so many nice tools and a file manager in here. It's very easy to manage your project and get it going. So once we have the compiler loaded, uh, you can see any errors in here that you have in your contract. You can debug those. It's quite nice. But once we're all set to go, which means there's no red errors here, we can go ahead and compile. Make sure that your contract, indeed, uh, this name matches the contract name that you put in the editor. Uh, also take note of this ABI button here. That's going to become important when, in fact, you make a user interface for any decentralized application that you may develop. So once everything is set up here, go over to Run. Make sure your environment is set to uh, Injected Web 3 and that the network ID matches what we set the Binance Testnet 2. Again, that was 97. 
everything matches and make sure the account matches your MetaMask account. Gas limit doesn't really matter here. It's a very simple contract and we're not sending any money to this contract to begin. Again, uh, one side note, it says 5.5 Ether here is the balance of this account, but we notice the native currency on this blockchain is BNB. So that's just an artifact of uh, Remix being uh, initially configured for Ethereum. It doesn't matter for our use case. Now, select the contract you want to deploy and click deploy. Okay, we can set the gas price. Uh, it's going to be comparable to what's on Ethereum right now, but because the price of BNB is so low, you're going to have really low gas transaction fees, which is quite nice. Nine cents to deploy this contract. So let's go ahead and uh, confirm that. And you'll see it down here pending to be mined. And there it goes. Binance chain is very fast. Okay, we can see it pop up here with an actual address for this contract and an interface that we didn't even have to make. It just is automatically generated to interact with this contract, okay? So first of all, what I want you to do if you're playing along here at home, copy this address and we're gonna go over to the Smart Chain Explorer. Explorer.binance.org slash smart dot uh, dash testnet, all right? And we can paste this contract address up here And we see that uh, you know a lot of statistics that we'd like to know about this contract are available right at our fingertips immediately in real time. Again, Binance Smart Chain is very fast. Uh, three second block time compared to the usual 15 to 30 second block time on Ethereum. And uh, because gas fees are so low, you can see your, con uh, your transaction broadcasted immediately uh, compared to maybe a few minutes to a few hours on Ethereum. Now we can see uh, any internal transactions, the the contract transaction from when it was uh, spawned and deployed is available immediately. It shows the addresses that we're interacting to make that happen. So what we're going to do is send a contract uh, transaction to this contract and then see it pop up in real time on the Smart Chain Explorer. So go back over to Remix and Recall that this contract allows us to post a string as a message and store it in that contract. So we're going to put, uh, how about BSC for the win? And we're going to send that. Sign the transaction. Wait for it down here. And there it goes. Pop over. And we see immediately that the contract call was successful. We see the transaction fee that we paid in BNB, um, the block number that it was uh, included in and mined in, and the actual transaction hash. If we click on this, we can see lots of different stuff related. And we should be able to see the, there we go. BSC for the win. We can read the variables and uh, the, the input data to that transaction. All right, so if we were on the mainnet now in a deployment application, we would be using a BSC scan. Personally, I like the in-house developed uh, scanner better. I like the user interface, but uh, BSC scan will be familiar to anybody who's actually developed on Ethereum before. Uh, Etherscan, in fact, is what you would use on there. But it has all the familiar tools, the resources, the API, the data, um, anything you could possibly want to know about the uh, an address or transactions or um, contracts is in here. Okay, so basically we're at the end of the tutorial. Uh, hopefully you've gained enough information to go ahead and explore yourself. If you want to deploy a contract that's more advanced than what we have here today, I encourage you to read a little bit about uh, Solidity, the programming language for smart contracts for EVM machines. And uh, we look forward to see what your guys are going to build. Thanks very much.